Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. Now, in this tutorial, we will be looking at one interesting concept uh, that will be very useful for writing data and uh, presenting data uh, in, a in a kind of a properly manner in uh, Fortran. And this, this feature is called as name list. Now, suppose uh, let's say you have a certain set of variables that uh, you know are all linked to each other, uh, connected to each other, or they uh, behave like a group, as a part of a group. For instance, uh, for instance, if you like, if you guys look at this program I've written over here, nameless underscore ex, okay, nameless example meaning, okay, I have a character of uh, have a character a string, a string, okay, which is actually my name. And then, supposing supposedly I have, uh, I mean, and I have integers, integer array called as persons, which has like five values. Maybe you can assume this to be uh, my my scores out of hundred and five subjects, let's five subjects or five class objects, whichever you call it. Okay. And then I have a real number, which is actually an average. Okay. And then my uh, and then my dig uh, the class of passing, like first class of passing, second class of passing, something of that written it over here and then the rank no which position I hold in the class from the top or something of that sort just like that no big deal okay and what happens is that all these data are all if you guys notice are all linked to me okay suppose if you have like uh, if you have suppose if you have like uh, say uh, 50 people like 50 people let's say and uh, and uh, if you want to you know print group them together and print them together in a uh, print them together, display them together in a nice format. <coughs> Instead of uh, uh, using them separately, okay. Uh, what if we had a way to you know uh, print them or show them as a as a group, you know, as a very nice group, and you can do that again and again and again several times in a pro several times in the program. Well, in Fortran there is this feature, and that feature is called as name list. Now, what does this nameless feature does is that this feature helps you to helps you to uh, give a kind of connect all the variables in such a manner and represent them as a single entity kind of. Okay. And now what I have here is that uh, as the introduction goes, I have my name and the scores I've scored in five subjects, the average of the five subjects which will calculate which I'm calculating here. And then my class, and then the rank I'm stored, rank I g have in the class. Okay. And then, uh, if you want to group all these variables together, okay. First, you have to write this nameless command over here, and then give a name. And to give a name, uh, it is a Fortran press Fortran rule that you have to give it in between uh, so slash commands, slash symbols. So you have to give a slash, write the name, and close it with the slash, indicating that this nameless name, the name of this nameless is that dat. And then you write all the variables that you want, uh, all, all the variables that you want uh, associated with this name list separately, like this, like name one, persons, average, class one, rank, and all, so on and so forth. Simple as that. Now, once you guys do this, okay, we are doing calculating average over here. That's not a big deal. Once this, once this is done, uh, okay, if I want to print it, what I have to do is I just have to I just have to write uh, print star details are and I use this write command to write the to print the data on the screen. Now this star over here indicates that uh, there's no I mean we're not using we're not going to print this in any file, okay? And this NML is actually a short form for nameless, just like FMT for format. NML is actually a form short list short name for the name list. And what I do is that I just write the data. Uh, uh, file list over here file list name over here and that's it it gets printed suppose suppose if you want to look at how this gets printed what you will do is that uh, we'll just run this out and see it for ourselves okay now check let's, let's check this out compile this it worked fine build this and execute this okay yeah it's working fine and here's the result uh, the, this this value the details are, are actually coming from the sprint statement, whereas this un ampersand dat, okay, is actually is is actually was referencing to the da data set we are uh, nameless we are using, and then it prints the name accordingly, the name accordingly within strings, the the uh, the subject marks in uh, the subject marks accordingly, 
and then it prints the average nicely and the next line it prints the class nicely and then finally it prints the rank also nicely and it says that this data this data set is over using this slash command over here pretty cool huh but if you guys notice we didn't we didn't write name percent average class rank and all we didn't write any of these rather it wrote on its own so this way you're getting a almost a pretty format uh, i would say it's not a not bad or a reasonably good format they are getting that at the same time <coughs> they are able to display the values with in uh, which uh, makes us with a uh, which, which gives us a proper sense not bad right now that's the advantage now that is actually the advantage you get uh, while using fun while using these kind of functions while using this kind of name list and all okay now if you guys want to more do work more on this you can definitely try okay and i know this is uh, th I, i don't have much i don't have any other topic to explain to you guys in this tutorial but uh, you can write this in files also what you have to do is that you suppose if you want to write this in a file just give a unit specification here and define a file accordingly and that's it this entire data will be written in a file in a similar manner in a similar manner that you uh, ante that you anticipate okay now let's try something out this this time instead of this write command i'm just printing I'll print the dot over here. Let's see how this works. See, it won't. It does not allow the nameless fe feature over here. When you guys do something of that sort, when you create a nameless and you want to print it, it won't work. Suppose even when you print, even when you run this, put it in between a backslash, between between slashes, it won't work. Okay, uh, it won't. Actually, it won't work. So. Uh, the best way to write this, the only the possible way to write this, is using this write statement over here, so that you can print this on the screen. And uh, yeah, this won't. Uh, this will still throw an error. Yeah, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay. And now this can be used for several operations also. Suppose if I were to uh, include only one element, let's say. Suppose I just include only the, the fourth element. Okay. I run this. Hmm. it is showing some errors uh, let's see yeah sorry average is right average is a single value let me just write percent 4 only i'll take the fourth value compare this it's still it's still showing some error it's still showing some error suppose if i were to remove this out compare this it's show it's fine Okay, this is something you have to keep in mind. If, if you are to put an array exactly into it, it will just take the entire array as it is. So you can't you can't do anything about that. But there is something you can where there is something else you can do. You can just define uh, something like val one, something of that sort. Okay, and instead of percents, let's let me type val one. Okay, pers. Uh, Let me type val one equals percents of one, something of that sort. Okay, or else four, no problem. Okay, if you have to compile this, it works fine. Build this and execute this. It's nice. It prints the value. Suppo uh, so if you want to, you the thing is, we want to pre present only a specific data. Okay, so we just want to present the specific data. of the persons file of, of the persons of a new matrix like that then it may not be possible to represent them in the array represent them in the nameless directly but instead if you use but instead if we use uh, you know substitution with the variables and all to do the same it's possible so but i th i don't i'm not sure whether you can do this in a different manner but this kind of works but this is a kind of a quick fix a quick fix you can, uh, you can work with and i personally i haven't used nameless much because i didn't i don't have a, i didn't have i don't have much of a necessity to use nameless before so i haven't used much of it but uh, this might uh, will be uh, this might be very useful for other uh, this might be very useful for you know some f f features and actually nameless has a lot of restrictions okay as far as i've heard because Uh, uh you cannot uh, as as you can as you saw in this example right now if you just want to p p paste a particular value of 
an array or particular set of values of an array this is not possible and there are i think there might be other restrictions also so other than this nice little inbuilt formatting that you get i don't think you have uh, there are uh, there are very less advantages you get you have so this is used in very very special situations where in uh, kind of formatting and stuff is very useful but uh, because of this these uh, this is uh, very rarely used okay because of some restrictions and uh, little inflexibility in writing it's kind of very very rarely used so uh, just a thought uh, it might be useful for some of you guys so i thought of just letting you know and uh, and and that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye